Hi guys, this is Luisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys which bag that I bought from Louis Vuitton and you can see the cute paper bag in my bag. Um, sorry for my voice today because I actually is still in a sick. I have a cold and flu, some sore throat. Um, I just came back from a holiday in Malaysia. I don't think I get the sick from the Malaysia because once I landed in Melbourne, um, I start to feel feeling not well. I'm not sure whether it's because of the, the air in the aeroplane. My sister told me sometimes the air in the aeroplane is not so clean. That's why this is how I get sick. Or maybe because of my immune system is very low at the moment. And I just want to have a video today because I just want to open the LV box so that I can admire the bag a little bit. Yeah, it's very very happy for me because I actually bought the two bags um, from the purchasing agent because she she was in the Paris before and she's a um, professional purchasing agent. Um, she just travel everywhere and then um, there's one day I saw she post the the LV bag in her Facebook and I was like, oh, I do message her straight away. I said, yeah, I want this, this and that. Yeah, um, I think it's fair enough because she actually charged me more, a um, few hundred dollars more. Yeah, and this wouldn't have uh, any tax return. So yeah, I pay extra for that. Yeah, I think it's um, two to three hundred or three to four hundred, something like this. Yeah. I'm actually quite happy I get this two bag because uh, she bought this from Paris and uh, the other bag she bought from uh, Singapore. It's quite rare because as I told me once in Melbourne, uh, she told me there's no more for the bag. She said it's sold out and LV is not selling this anymore because LV will more prefer to sell the Boucher Métis in the sticker pattern or in the leather pattern yeah I'm not really like the leather pattern as well um, it's just feel like a little bit weird I still more prefer the monogram yeah and yeah and then I traveled to uh, Johor because she she's based in Johor and I went there and also uh, I went to Singapore as well to the Orchard Road and I have a look around just want to check um, the Chanel pack they have and also the LV shop in Orchard Road I'm actually quite happy that I went there because um, the service in the LV shop and Chanel shop in both Singapore and Malaysia they are actually more far better than the service here I can tell uh, the differences because in, in Singapore they are more friendlier and they will like to serve you like a real VIP and um, if compared to the Melbourne, the LA shop here it's just like you you not really go to the brand, brand name shop it's just like you go to the normal supermarket feeling because everyone just try to squeeze into the shop and usually they don't have the stock sometimes there's one time the SA from LA shop she told me to buy it. that's fine but the problem is I have to go there like every week to annoy her. I I don't know, it's sound like bad for me um, to sell the bag. Because I actually shared the story to the LV shop in Malaysia and, and he told me how come uh, the LV in Melbourne you have actually need to go through the filter and and the SA have to get the approve uh, from the manager themselves whether should they sell the bag to me yeah this and that yeah so he was like a little bit uh, surprised to hear this yeah and also one thing i like the uh, LA shop in malaysia they actually set up the something like a vip corner that you can actually have more privacy yeah but of course their price uh, if i compare with melbourne melbourne price and also the tax return will be much cheaper than malaysia 
Before I'm going to start which bag that I bought from Louis Vuitton, I would like to ask you guys is whether is, is my hair is quite nice, my new hairstyle because I never cut my hair that short and also very layer and I have two color tone. Um, it's more like an ash blonde, something like this, or ash brown, I don't know. I able to book the hairstylist one month in advance because everyone say everyone actually recommend this hairstylist and his name is Yoshi. He come from uh, Japan and and I choose number 76 in Mid Valley because it's more convenient for me and I can stay in a hotel there or to enjoy around Mid Valley and also the garden. Just want to have some personal time to have a relax. And that's why I choose uh, number 76. Once I landed in Malaysia, the first thing I do is go to the uh, salon to fix my hair. Because my hair, I think I didn't color my hair like um, half year and doesn't look good anymore. And my hair is too long, I have to do some haircut, this and that. I'm actually quite happy with the outcome. Yeah, because he actually do the bleaching with the highlight he called this highlight but he do the bleach at the same time he actually quite professional because i i kind of are confused i think i confused him as well he is very patient and he give me um, the advice uh, which one that i should go or this and that he even show me the picture some example if you're watching my video thank you for your patience and also the very good choice for my hair i'm going to um, find your shoe next time when I go to Malaysia. Dun! I'm going to show you guys the first bag that I bought from my purchasing agent. As soon as I saw she put this picture in her Facebook, I was like, yes, I want this. Please reserve this for me. Because all the SF from Melbourne, they all told me there's no more stock or only available in reverse monogram. Even for the reverse monogram, still have to wait for my turn uh, in a long list, in a waiting list, this and that. Yeah, they I actually have to go there every week to annoy her to sell this back to me. Yeah, it's just like begging, I think. <laughs> and as she able to found this, the full monogram in Paris, and I was like, wow. And and I actually shared a story with her, and she was quite surprised. The SA in Melbourne is not really friendlier if compared to the rest of the outlet in other countries. I'm going to show you guys the bag. And actually this is my first time to buy the LB product. I don't care actually it's, uh, whether I have to buy from the outlet straight away. Um, I'd rather to spend some uh, few hundred dollars extra to buy the bag I want. I don't want to open the ribbon, I just let it, it should be because it actually just opened the magnetic flap here. Ta -da! My bag. And there's a receipt from a Paris, the dust bag. Ta -da! Um, actually, why, why I'm looking for the posture mattis is because uh, I do a lot of uh, research. Uh, I checked the YouTube and I even checked the Google. Just want to check the people, um, see what they think about the Porsche Matis, and also to check um, which Louis Vuitton product I should get at that time. And many people actually is, uh, recommend this one. I'm quite happy for this one because my goal is accomplished. I achieved something that uh, everyone told me I can't get this, I can't get that. Yeah, truly is just feel very happy to get this. Yeah. And you can see the claps here. And I like the I like this uh, well lining here. She actually didn't give me the the cap booklet. Yeah. They say made in France. Yeah, I'm quite happy to get this because when I check this on the Google or on the other second hand market, they actually have the bag with uh, made in Spain or made in US. Yeah, but I still prefer made in Paris. I like this uh, uh, fancy 
uh, with something like main Paris yeah <laughs> and this is a clap here it's a bit hard to close it's not too full and the aging very pretty aging and there's a zip here it, it actually can fit a lot I think can fit my books I like to read books when I'm free and also I can easily put a small water bottle I think yeah it's more practical if compared to the the Chanel bag that I have Ta -da! this is another bag that I bought I've been spent quite a lot during this holiday and I bought two LV bag at once and I think I believe these two bags are quite popular at the moment yeah this one I don't have the ribbon because um, she forget to give to me but she promised that she will post the ribbon and here you go magnetic flap and there's a receipt here this one she bought from the Singapore and can you guys guess what is this in the box? Louis Vuitton dust bag and ta -da! this is a reverse monogram you, you guys must know what is this and this is a mini palm spring backpack and many people can't actually buy this or they actually is very hard to find this especially this is in a reverse monogram I don't know whether I would keep the pochette matis or not but um, I would definitely like this one because I actually like the two color tone uh, which is uh, more more special, more stand out rather than just one full monogram I actually looking for the pochette matis in reverse monogram and somehow um, I don't have this chance and also uh, I I was thinking I might be don't like the Porsche Matis in Vivo's monogram it actually surprisingly very good for the mini palm spring here I, I love this you see don't you think this is a gorgeous one just a little zip here is a bit hard to zip and open because it's um, it's against the back here there's not enough space to move around you see yeah it's just like your your finger will be actually stuck there yeah because it's very tight the pocket here but I still like this and it's very cute Some sometimes I'm actually looking for the backpack go to a different outlet to try on their different um, backpack design but I don't like the big backpack doesn't look good on me because the other is very nice size um, like the other bigger size of the palm spring but it's too wide it's too wide <laughs> yeah because um, I'm too I'm quite tiny not not that big yep here you go the stuffing And also the the back strap and the, I believe it's the cat bullet. And inside is a cloth, cloth lining. And one thing I like is made in France. Yeah. And overall I'm very happy the LV bag that I bought yeah and also of course I still like my Chanel bag the Chanel Aori white which is in my bag here and I, I actually bring this bag to the Chanel shop in the um, in the Singapore and she told me this bag is very rare to get How, you are so lucky to get this bag yeah this is the compliment that I get yeah make me feel so proud of my bags i bought another wallet as well i actually bought this from another purchasing agent and this is from milan made in milan as well and you can actually find this in other country because they're only selling in the milan the, and i was like um 
um, this price is not that expensive that's why I just buy and give a try if I like their product I maybe would try their bag as well because their product actually is not that expensive yeah and here you go this is the long wallet that I bought yeah will be good for me because sometimes when I just want to grab uh, grab some uh, very thin wallet just for easy to go walk around Pumali Milano made in Italy and the inside and also this is a handmade and a real leather yeah one thing I'm not really like is uh, actually is an angle can you see when I put flat like this actually is angle and also if I put too many notes here it actually will expand the glue actually is peeling off yeah and you can see there's a six line there as well um, overall it's still alright for a rough use because you see there's a already have a dint here the leather dint yeah and the dint at the back too I'm not really happy with this uh, wallet actually yeah for rough use it's alright yeah still really like my bag um, that's it for today if you guys have any question for me that I how I buy my LV bag how I go through for all this process this and that um, you yeah, feel free to ask me and I will try my best to answer your question um, if you do like and join my movie please subscribe my channel your support will be my big motivation thank you bye for now